Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikToks that will make you question reality. The projected path of Hurricane Barrel, huh? I think it already passed Yucatan, right? And it's headed to Houston now. Oh, it's stuck there now. So the guy do y'all remember some years ago, like there was a storm over Houston. It was similar to that and it just stayed on top of Houston for a few days. It looks like that might be something similar. That was talking about the dragon right here. got banned and fired from his jaw because he was talking about a dragon. Really? The dragon ain't real, right? No, come on, man. It's a, a dragon the size of a continent. So why fire him? So why ban him if it ain't real? Mm. And I heard also multiple content creators uh, with over 100K that were truth seekers or conspiracy theorists got banned too. Why ban these people if they're just no threat? I mean, ain't these people in their own little imaginary world? See, these people getting banned because they're telling the truth. They're exposing the truth. They're doing their research, too. They're making it make sense to everybody. And, yeah, this stuff is some unbelievable stuff. But, man, yeah, I mean, they're making a lot of sense. It's called controlled media. Mm -hmm. The war on information. Definitely. They only want you to tell. They only want you to talk about what they want you to talk about. You know, once you go left or get out of their lane or something, you know, they're like, oh, whoa, 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 we're going to have to ban this person. Don't want nobody listening to them. And you would think, right, if the stuff isn't true, why would they care? What's going on here? Where's this? I think this is Chicago. Hmm, wherever that's at, that's strange. This, this look like this in China somewhere. Why is the water red? So what's this? It's that same hurricane. Look at that though. Whoa, whoa. Is that a gorilla? I wonder what kind of animal that was. Oh, a dinosaur. There we go. These are dinosaur bones. Supposedly. So this man in 1999 was walking around our buildings, recording footage with ties to the Saudis, and we're just supposed to believe he was a tourist? And this footage has been hidden for 23 
fucking years. That's a long time. My biggest question is, why is it made public now? President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump need to be addressing this issue. There was a, a debate, if you want to call it a debate, less than a week ago, where these two candidates for president knew about the existence of this video, and neither one of them had the courage to stand with the 9-11. A voice on the video says in Arabic, I am transmitting these scenes to you from the heart of the American capital, Washington. Washington. This video, unsealed in federal court this week and obtained by 60 Minutes, was recorded in the summer of 1999. The man behind the camera is Omar al-Bayoumi, who the FBI says was an operative of the Saudi intelligence service with close ties to two of the 9-11 hijackers. Time is 6 p.m. The video was filmed over several days. Bayoumi recorded entrances and exits of the capital, security posts, a model of the building, and nearby landmarks. In this portion of the video, Bayoumi points out the Washington Monument and says, I will get over there and report to you in detail what is there. He also notes the airport is not far away. What I see Bayoumi doing is going out and making a detailed video record of the Capitol from all its sides and then conducting that 360-degree panoramic view. Osama bin Laden decided to approve Khalid Sheikh Mohammed's so-called planes operation. In the days after 9-11, British police discovered the video during a raid on Bayoumi's UK apartment. Did you see all those tapes? Make them all public. They also seized Bayoumi's handwritten address book that the lawyers for the 9-11 families say was filled with phone numbers of numerous senior Saudi officials who were in the government at the time. And when Bayoumi filmed the Washington video, he was often with two Saudi diplomats who the FBI says had ties to al-Qaeda, a finding the Saudi government disputes. It was the families, and it was our dogged pursuit of justice. We were the ones that were able to obtain this video. We didn't get this video from the United States government. We got this video from the British government. You could argue that the families did a better job investigating the attacks of 9-11 than the United States government. With its hundreds of billions of dollars of resources, the former deputy director of the CIA went live on Face the Nation and said he's never seen this video. Listen, the time for gains and doubts about whether Saudi Arabia did it is over. Explain this to me. Why? Are... I don't know, man. <clears throat> Especially with what's going on right now in the world. It's like, you got to be careful with a lot of this stuff that gets put on TV. Because they're trying to sway you in one direction or the other. You know, and I don't know what direction they're trying to sway us with that one. But it's just like, why now? Right now. These ducks standing at attention in the rainstorm like they're about to receive marching orders. It's a beautiful rainy day. And these are. ducks are just frozen solid. It's a four out of five. It's RGP. It's probably something in the sky that he don't see. Nope, we were never supposed to see these as these biblical stones are coming out everywhere. And what this means for our world is terrifying. People were shocked after it was discovered blue stones or referred to as sky ice in Antarctica were found and they resembled the exact same objects that Ezekiel mentions in the Bible, claiming what the firmament or the dome of earth is made out of, saying the firmament material would appear like sapphire or blue stone. But how this was found is even more insane as decades ago a scientist had leaked they found sky ice after years of research in Antarctica, claiming that the government has sealed all this away, knowing could lead to terrifying changes about our planet and science. With him saying that the government had found an entire ice wall made out of the biblical sky ice. The same ice wall that the pancake earth believers say is in Antarctica, possibly proving that the earth may be a lot bigger with many more continents than we could ever know on the other side. With any scientific discovery, we need to look at the concrete evidence and satellite images still point to a frisbee earth not existing and likely nothing beyond an ice wall. But wouldn't it be crazy? I really don't know how satellite images disprove that, but okay. 
Seek and ye shall find. My name is Jasmine Sherman. I am not just under 65, I am 38. I'm running for president of the United States of America. I am on 48 states ballots. If you live in Alaska or Georgia, I am not on your state's ballot. I am working on it. If you don't live in Alaska or Georgia, that means I'm on your state's ballot. For anyone that has questions about my platform, it is a platform for Americans that want to reset. And that means guaranteed housing, no more rent, no more mortgage, allowing us to give the land back to indigenous communities, freeing Hawaii, Guam, and Puerto Rico from the oppression that we have done to them. That also means giving the indigenous all of their land back. But don't worry, there's more details. You're not moving. You actually make money off of it. But let me go on. My First off, no. Until we can have a clear definition of who the indigenous are, stop just giving people stuff. You know, you're giving land to people. You don't even know who they really are platform also means that we have to give people universal health care dental vision mental health and physical health it means that we need more doctors more nurses more support staff so i also provide you with free education not just k through 12 but bachelor's degrees master's degrees and doctoral degrees if you want to pursue education we want to make sure that you have access to education my platform also provides people with universal basic income. We understand that as technology increases, AI is a part of that and jobs are replacing people at rates that we've never seen before. My platform is a platform for people that want to be revolutionary, for people that would like an age cap and term limits. I am the person that you should vote for. For people that want to know that you are not going to no longer have access to the basic things that you need to survive and thrive, you should vote Sherman in 2024. If you have questions about me or my platform, go to jasminesherman.com and schedule an appointment to talk to me. If you want to talk to Tanda Bluebear, who is my running mate, you can schedule a meeting to talk to them. If you have questions about land back, or guaranteed housing, or universal health care, or free education, or firearms, or anything that you would like to know, schedule a meeting. I'm not fighting with y'all in the comment section because this is a commercial and Joe Biden doesn't talk to you and neither does Donald Trump. Peace, love, and hair grease. Peace, love, and hair grease. At a top robotics company in Japan this week, Four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans. Y'all heard that? I'm cool on the robots. One more thing. The dark side of the moon. The eclipses that we see are not being eclipsed by a moon, okay? It's a picture that the Egyptians took during the uh, eclipse. I wish I might pull it up and put it up right here. Stem during the eclipse and they like this and it's showing two sun looking objects in the moon in the middle like under right so what i'm saying is this in the morning time when the sun and the moon is out at the same time right you can see them right you can see the sun you can see the moon right so during the eclipse if the moon is what eclipses the sun why don't we see the moon on its way to the eclipse and then after the eclipse why don't we see it slide off into the sky into the atmosphere we can see it any other time and if you got an excuse for that tell me this we can't see the dark side of the moon right but why don't you get a satellite up in space the same satellites that go all the way out to pluto and all the way to jupiter you know what i'm saying and all the way out the galaxy to take a picture of the milky way ain't gonna happen those satellites and put one behind the sun ain't gonna happen or on the side of the sun even during a solar eclipse and get the dark side of the moon because during a solar eclipse the sun lights up the dark side of the moon doesn't it so y'all should have a picture of the dark side of the moon why am i the smart guy that got to come up with a way for y'all to get a dark a picture of the dark side of the moon and y'all nasa i'm smarter than nasa y'all stupid to me for real so nasa here's the challenge since you can't get a picture we'll never see the dark side of the moon but during the eclipse, the sun lights up the dark side of the moon because it's the moon getting eclipsed, right? One side faces up and it gets dark during the eclipse. Weird. It gets dark. And now you can't see the moon facing you that's covering the sun. 
weird, right? You can't see the moon that's basically just covering the sun, but it lights up the dark side of the moon. So get you a satellite back there. You got pictures of the sun and shit. It's plasma, not fire. Get you a satellite back there and take a picture of the dark side of the moon. Well, the eclipse, sunlight is lighting it up. That's how you get a picture of the dark side of the moon, if you could. It's not the moon. It's the black sun. Why well, you see a black ball during the eclipse? That lets you know hollow earth, black ball, a figure of rotation. You feel me? That's when the black sun shows itself during an eclipse. If not, we should see the moon sliding across the sun off of the eclipse. Why don't we? But we can see the moon in the, in the morning when the sun is out. <sighs> Please, I'm just, am I crazy or what? Just saying. I mean, is he crazy or what? Is he, is he speaking knowledge? I mean, you, technically you should be able to do that if that's what it is. If that's what they're saying is going on, you should be able to do exactly what he said. <clears throat> what is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. So that's how you get pearls, huh? I mean, that's still just amazing to me that you get pearls out of that. R.I.P. To that clown. That's just crazy. What is she saying? They got green ones? No way. They put that in there. That was weird. I'm not, <laughs> not even going to lie. This is getting wild. The National Guard is going to be here now for the solar eclipse. This article today was released in an Oklahoma newspaper saying that they will have guardsmen present in McCurtain County for the solar eclipse. But things get much weirder. The 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear unit will be housed in Broken Bow in addition to 110 to 150 Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. They're also urging residents to stock up with one to two weeks of food in advance of the event and to have full fuel tanks. They're also saying that it's likely that communication facilities could be overloaded, possibly making it difficult to make cell phone calls. Similar warnings are going out in different states, including Noblesville Fire Department in Texas. And apparently schools are canceled this day and people are going on Twitter writing statements like this. Something strange is definitely happening. My kids in three different schools all got notices that school will be closed that day. What do you know about this solar eclipse? As always, let me know what you think about all of this down below. Hmm. Let's talk about the original hotels in New York City and why they're amazing. These hotels weren't just places to stay, but monuments of architecture, engineering, and luxury. Symbols of the city's growth, prosperity, and innovation. Hosting celebrities, politicians, royalty from all over the world. They witnessed history, culture, and art. They were the Astor House, the Waldorf Astoria, the Vanderbilt, the Plaza, and many more. Right now, let's just talk about the Biltmore Hotel, because all the stories are very similar. The Biltmore Hotel in New York was a luxury hotel that opened in 1913 as part of the Terminal City Development around Grand Central Terminal. In the underground floors, along with the indoor pool, was the train room, where the train ran right underneath the hotel. Rooftop gardens, light tunnels would light the entire building and illuminate the building. A refrigeration plant produced 500 tons of ice per day, cooled the interior, a pneumatic 
two system delivery system for messages and items to be shot around the hotel, central vacuuming, and a lot of other high tech amenities. So, why is this strange? It was strange because built in the early 1900s, there were no power tools commonly available. There was no cranes to lift up scaffolding and materials. Most people are just getting over horses and buggies. Who built this building? There's no pictures of any of the constructions. They've all been demolished, and they all are owned and operated by some pretty big, important families. So let's do a little homework, people. There's no excuse anymore. What's going on with these buildings that were already here? Potential UFO sighting caught on Apple Valley News Now's Skycam. This was on the news, y'all. Whoever was watching the news saw it for themselves. The newscasters saw it for themselves. Everybody saw this, but no one's heard about it. Why? Why is it that things are happening and we're not being told about it? I mean, we pay taxes in this country. We make the country run. It's us that makes this place so fucking great. So why are you not telling us the truth? about whatever this is. I mean, we're paying for it. We pay for this. We pay to keep you on your toes, following what's going on around the world to help protect us from anything that's trying to hurt us, right? That isn't it, isn't it how it works? For the most part, I'm not gonna get all political on how all things work when it comes to government and all, because I don't fucking know. I'm just a citizen, but I'll tell you what I do know. I'll tell you what I know. These fucking things are still flying around. They're still flying around and we still have no fucking clue. And, and for at least the last 5,000 years. Take with that from that. I don't even give a shit. Strange <laughs> times. Okay. If you want to get down, down on the ground, She's so mine, she's so mine, she's so mine. Okay. That dude is okay. Did you come back news? You wanna kick the moon, okay? What the heck? <laughs> you got me, man. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Alright. All right, I'll come back out when they let to open the gate, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. One last thing. You know, I used to think when I was a senator, was it? I find in life you can't let people get away with bullshit here, okay? You just can't do it. Eight planes out at 6.30 in the morning, blocking the sun. They say the sun stimulates your VMAT2 gene, which is the God gene. Diamond shaped UFO spotted in Orlando. Now that's crazy right there. Like if I see that, I'm thinking Thanos is coming. I'm preparing for the end of the world. If I actually seen that in person. Pero qué es eso? Míralo cómo se queda ahí. It looks like Ethereum. That's what it looks like. That's Ethereum right there floating around, y'all. Some cryptocurrency in the sky. What if that was like a spaceship or something though? Like for real, for real. Oh, it's more of those little spirals that we seen earlier. You see them? Look, look. Yep, right there. This some light show, some alien light show. Oh, snap!
has disappeared. Category 5, 165 mile per hour wind. Man, I feel bad for all the people that had to go through that hurricane or had that hurricane go through with them. Shout out to everybody in Texas, man. Y'all be safe down there in Houston because it looks like that hurricane is going to be over you for days. So y'all be safe down there. But yeah, these are some of the most strange, bizarre TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bells on. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.